Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about how supply voltage can be tuned to optimise the performance of a GAN power amplifier for different applications. We will discuss this through the design of a 1.5 watt 28 to 32 GHz Mimic power amplifier designed on a 0.15 micron GAN on SICK process. One of the advantages of GAN over competing technologies is that it has a higher breakdown voltage and power density. This allows the device to be operated over a greater range of supply voltages with 20 and 28 volts typical for a GAN process. This rate greater range in supply voltage allows another degree of freedom when designing and optimising a PA. There are several reasons for tuning the supply voltage for a PA design and these may include improving PA performance at power backoff, using the same part for multiple applications to save on design and development costs, to improve the thermal performance, or optimization of the design to meet specifications. Now let's look at an example power amplifier design which has been optimized for high efficiency at power backoff by tuning the supply voltage. Typically, one of the first steps in designing a power amplifier is to conduct load pool simulations of the selected device. Here our selected device has a total gate periphery of 6 by 50 microns and this produces us a power of just over the 1.5 watts specified and this is to account for matching network losses. The device has been biased at 20 milliamps per millimetre and this gives us a good combination of high efficiency and also good linearity and gain. This is a 28 volt process and in this example we have set the supply voltage to 26 volts. We're simulating at the center design frequency, 30 gigahertz, and we've set the load pool bench to do a power sweep from minus 15 to plus 26 and a half dBm. If we look at our results, we can see on the right hand side our load pool contours for both efficiency in blue and power in red. And we can see for this device that our optimum load for both power and efficiency are very close. In our center chart we have PAE plotted against output power and we can select the our desired load. And here we have selected the load which gives us the optimum for both power and efficiency. At this load, the device is delivering a power of 32.7 dBm and has an efficiency of 46%. And the load for this is 9.6 plus J32 ohms. Here I have plotted the optimum load impedances for a range of supply voltages from 20 to 28 volts at the center design frequency. We can see that the optimum loads increase with supply voltage and therefore reducing the supply voltage will reduce the optimum load required. For this design I have selected the optimum load at 26 volts. This gives us good saturated power whilst optimizing the PA for power back off performance. Now let's look at the design of the power amplifier. The Mimic PA is a single stage design. The two pole output matching network has been designed to present the optimum load for a 26 volt supply, which was determined from the previous load pull simulations. The two pole input matching network is conjugately matched. If we step into the sub block, the bias T consists of an RF short and then a single section of transmission line. Also included in the design are some on chip low frequency decoupling networks. If we step out of the PA block into the test bench 
the test bench has been set up to simulate both small signal S parameters and large signal power simulations. The supply voltage has been swept from 20 to 28 volts into volt steps. In this simulation, the gate voltage remains constant throughout the drain voltage sweep. Now for a look at the results of this simulation. Looking at the small signal S parameters, we can see in the output return loss how varying the supply voltage changes the optimum load seen by the transistor. The nominal 26 volt supply voltage is shown in light blue. As the voltage is decreased, the output match deteriorates. Increasing the voltage to 28 volts slightly improves the match. Looking at the small signal gain, the output match is directly reflected with decreasing voltage leading to a reduction in gain. If we now look at the input return loss, the device has good isolation and the conjugately matched input is largely unaffected by the changing of the optimum load presented at the output through the variation of the supply voltage. If we look at the results from the large signal simulations, the nominal 26 volt supply voltage in light blue has both good power and drain efficiency at 3 dB compression, with decreasing supply voltage having a detrimental effect on the compressed performance due to the load presented to the transistor no longer being optimum. If we now look at the case where the PA is at 4 to 5 dB power back off, we can see that decreasing the supply voltage has a large benefit in increasing the drain efficiency. However, this also decreases the power gain. In this short video, we have shown how tuning of the supply voltage can be used to optimise the performance of a GAN PA. We have shown how the optimum load changes with drain voltage and therefore why the supply voltage should be considered early in the design process. We have also shown that with a typical transistor with good reverse isolation, the input match is relatively unaffected by the varying load with supply voltage. And with the example of a mimic PA, we have shown how designing the PA with an optimum load or 26 volts on a 28 volt process gives both good output power and efficiency at 3 dB compression, and then by reducing the supply voltage, good performance at power back off. So that's a quick overview of how tuning the supply voltage can be used to optimize the performance of a GAN PA for different applications. If you would like to find out more about our design services, then please go to prfi.com and you can find us on Twitter at prfi underscore UK. Also LinkedIn and check out our other videos on YouTube. If there are any other topics you'd like us to cover in a video, then please let us know by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching.